video 10 will be will be back again to the animation montages and sorry the uh, animation blueprints so from there let's fix the issues we have and we can move on to something better when it comes to the next next parts so let's go to the anim bp in this case and back to walk and run and if you remember we were stuck on this part we didn't really modify anything to it so we were not targeting by default however we will be targeting when we did this one we did the directions as well so let's use this part and let's add directions to it and let's see if this actually fixes it now target move right move left forward and right backward and left it does seem to behave like the way we want it to so in this case now you know how useful it is when it comes to when I'm targeting and when I'm not so and if I remove the targeting I'm back to whatever I was doing so this will conclude this one and there will be more to discuss when it comes to the anim blueprint itself there still we have a blocking pose so what happens when I'm blocking but first let's implement the blocking and from there we'll worry about blocking pose itself so let's do the uh, blocking pose in this in this in this video as well as the blocking ability and state so let's go back to the protector data asset now to implement the blocking we need to know what blocking needs to change for us so we know that it will change the pose so that's one of them we need to change the core move set to be blocking as well as try to run maybe a start block montage of some sort I already did all of this when it comes to sword and shield so if you take a look at that one it has a state named um, player block state if I remember correctly yeah player block state now if, let's implement that and let's take a look at it oh not this one is here go in the plugins player block state player block state will try to run the abilities within it and in can perform if you go to that one it will try to run this one however we don't have abilities yet so let's just keep this part and let's double make sure that block state does what we want it to do so when it gets constructed it tries to run a check for the block time whenever you hold the block this is important for deflection you can skip this part for now when you try to start it it will check the right mouse button it, it will check the keys for the right mouse button and it will try to run the selected ability whichever that is we don't have abilities yet and we have the assign moveset pose that we want to change and it's trying to take as well so in the take function we're trying to check if the character is moving or not if it's not moving don't rotate okay and we are checking if there is a loop block start being active as an ability for now we don't care about the abilities skip this part since we reach a part where we don't understand it keep it skip it on the side let's worry about implementing block and the condition for block itself because it has a condition right here right so let's skip this part and let's just return true and since we implemented it here we don't have any abilities so you can skip this part and the block being active or getting called to be active is depending on the right mouse button now the right mouse button is assigned from here so if you look check, check for something called the block it will try to run when right mouse is being clicked so if we go here and try to uh, show the debuggers and look at the state if i click right mouse button I'm in block state however I'm not really moving so I can move but look at my t-pose when I stop I go back to to idle now the reason I'm t-posing is because I ignore those for now we don't care about them we only wanted to show the pose being changing here it's because this blocking pose is not really set to anything so how do we do really do blocking pose now if you go to uh, the blended spaces we created before they are exactly the same except that while 
he performs whatever he's doing he actually has the block up right so let's do another blend space let's just duplicate this one and we call this one combat block player so let's look for something called defense we don't have a defense idol but we have a defense here right this is probably a good idol right let's start with the idol first because this is all movement don't forget the idol part so let's add blocking and it was defense loop i'm assuming defense one loop and it's in place make sure it's looping and let's run this one and let me try it right now because it will be visible right away and we are in block loop right if i stop nothing happens let's check our animation blueprint i'm still in blocking pause i didn't change it back so just keep that in mind don't be fooled by it says it's common it's not if you move this out and just make this a bit bigger you see right now it's not in common it's in blocking just make sure this is actually set up uh, to the correct character and it's not on the tabs and while you are playing make sure you're checking that so we're stuck in loop it's because we're not setting the um the uh correct move set back to common or whatever default or whatever it is is because we're stuck with the with the block and we're not exiting anything and we also have these errors so for now skip this part D don't worry about it we just have to make sure that blocking is working in terms of idle and uh, as well as uh, in terms of movement so let's worry about the movement for the time being we did create uh, a clone for it but we didn't set it up okay so defense loop would be the one we start with here don't forget the edges and let's put the rest of the things so defense walk walk forward ah this is root we don't want a root one we need a regular one so this is one forward left forward right backward right backward left backward and backward here and we still have left and right so this is left and this is right let's double check movement seems right and let's try but after we put the things we have right here so we have blocking here we don't need these but we need a direction and a speed so direction speed being here and let's try this part It does seem to give us the results we want however be careful when you are targeting somebody in the upper section we checked if we are targeting or not and we're specifically giving it a direction of zero whenever we're not targeting somebody so let's do the same so when you are targeting let's do this if we are not just copy this give it a direction of zero and put this one right here this will be just a safe check for whenever you don't have you don't have targeting because if you have a leftover direction from whatever you were doing and if it assigns the number 90 here for example you'll be stuck in that 90 for no reason this is just a more of a safe check so let's go block move around all good if you target and move right and left you're also good so this is okay let's worry about the errors that come with it right now we still have one more problem which is you can block without really having a weapon in your hand and that's because Aside from the errors we're getting, there is uh, the conditions we're passing. Remember this mode? We're not really checking for anything. So let's do this part. And if you go to the sword and shield, under block state, there's this, this part of ability we're using. And since we need conditions for when you can perform something or not, you can either do the conditions in the state or in the ability like I'm doing it. So let's do it in the ability and just take that as a good reference to take what we need from it so if you copy that and paste it here let's take a look at the block style what does it really do so one condition for example me being in combat and that's one of the things we need me being in combat and having a valid weapon so that's a good way to do it so if I go play right now if I hold right mouse nothing happens it's because I'm not in combat if I equip my weapon and then right mouse now it works now you can see when I 
start my right mouse I already ended the pause it's because block start is also connected to the rest of the abilities so for example let's take a look again at the block state and you will notice here uh, we don't need this part on the start I'm saving the inputs which was whatever assigned to right mouse input so in my case it was right mouse button you could change this in the mappings if you don't want it and we're performing the selected ability which is we know it's a it's the block start we're assigning the block pause and adding it to tick okay what does tick really do let's double check again it checks if I'm moving or not in our case I'm not let's skip this part if you are rotate to whatever actor you're targeting we, we don't care about this for now and then it checks if we have ability of gameplay tag a block loop and a block start in our case, we have a block start, right? This is block start with this tag. And whenever this starts on the st in the beginning, it will take whatever montage you have. Okay, so this one doesn't have a value, so it will be invalid. It will take the montage from the data asset. And in our case, we didn't uh, assign anything to it. We didn't have a block. And it has no values so it's invalid and if it's invalid do block loop I'm specifically assigning it a class here okay so watch my ability when I hold left when I hold the the, the block and I am in block state you see the current active ability it's block loop the reason it's block loop is because this was reached See, let me put this back and if I hold right mouse this is running okay let's find out what's the condition for block loop because block loop itself has conditions check here so the condition for block loop and you can see I right, dropped right away and can perform ability the condition is me being in combat having a valid weapon and right mouse being triggered so right mouse input being triggered for whatever input that you have this is the condition to run it. And what happens when this runs? Again, I'm reassigning my, my pose just to be safe. And then we have a binding. What does the binding do here? On updated current active state. So if my active state it changes and the active state is no longer normal block. Oh, by the way, my block state is called normal block in terms of gameplay tag. Is no longer game uh, no longer normal block and block loop is active reset the active ability okay we don't care too much about this part what we really want is to understand how they go to block loop and how is it exiting it when I'm no longer clicking my right mouse button now if you go back here to the block Remember we were checking for two conditions here, either block or in block start. Since we're not in block start, since it instantly puts us in block loop, you can safely assume it's in block loop. So block loop and is input still clicked? This is a function that will check if any of those inputs are still clicked or not. After that, we're not in block start, so we don't care. So it will be fail. It will, it will be false. If it is false, try to do block end but again we don't have a block end right so it will just fail there's nothing that runs a block end here it will just mm -hmm. fail and it will end the state what happens when the state ends you go back to idle and if the current active ability is the same as block star just in the current active ability this is a bit more confusing i know but know for now that whenever this ends this function also gets fired clear state values will run whenever in the state how do I know you go back to the parent and from the parent we have another end here somewhere yeah you see this function at the end clear state values whenever clear state values run this function will run and therefore the moveset will change back to combat so if you hold right mouse block if you remove it back to nothing the block state here that has confusing parts right so block start was never really starting really so we can really just remove this would this actually work it would be yes it would be
So why do I have it there? In case you have a block start montage. Some of you might be really interested in a block start and then a loop and then a block end and so on. So in case some of you would actually keep it, I'll keep it this way. But for now, just know that don't worry too much about the, the, the specifics. Ignore them if you're not really interested in them. Just know that whenever this starts, the block start will start and then block loop will start. And it only ends when my right mouse button is no longer clicked. That's all, I need, so that's all you need to know for the time being. And that concludes the blocking. In the next video, we'll focus more on dodging and a few other things related to it. So see you in the next one.